Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. Okay, we have a Fisher & Paykel top load washer today, and the complaint is we're getting an error code during the cycle, and it's not going through the cycle, and we found that the error code is a motor error code, uh, which is the stator on this unit. So we're gonna tip the unit back, get underneath, and take a look at the stator. All right, we've gotten the tech sheet out of the control panel area, and we're looking at the error code we're getting here for a motor stall. And basically, uh, the control has recognized that it has not been able to start the motor. So we're gonna get underneath and test our motor or our stator. The tools needed for this repair are a 3 8 inch nut driver and a 5 8 inch socket. All right, so to take a look at our stator, we're gonna need to remove the rotor. This is gonna be a 5 8 inch socket. Now we can remove our rotor. All right, so here's our stator, and we're gonna wanna get to the electrical connections of the stator to check the windings. All right, so to do that, we will remove the stator. And there's gonna be these four 3 8 inch bolts we need to remove. Now we can grab our rotor, or our stator I mean, and pull it off of the tub there. All right, so we have this plastic cover here that we need to remove, and we're just gonna need to rotate it counterclockwise to remove it. We have to release this tab here to do so. And then there's one on this side too. Okay, and then it'll come off of there. And then here you can see we have our wiring to the stator. All right, so we're gonna disconnect our wiring going to the stator right here. This is our RPS sensor here. And now we're gonna be checking the stator for resistance value. And if we refer back to our tech sheet, it says here that um, we need 32 ohms between yellow and blue and between blue and red. So if we go from our yellow to blue right on the terminals of the stator here. Yellow, blue should be 32 ohms approximately and we're getting about 33 ohms so that is good. If we go between blue and red which are these two terminals here. We correspond it to the two wires that were connected. Um, we do not have any resistance here. So that's gonna mean that this winding of the stator is open and this is our faulty part. We're gonna need to replace our stator for this repair. Okay, now we'll have to remove the RPS sensor. There's just gonna be two clips to release on each side. All right, now we can remove the old stator. All right, here's our new stator. Let's get it into position here. And there's gonna be an arrow on the stator and there's an arrow on the RPS sensor so that you line it up on the right spot here. All right, now we can reinstall the cover here. We're just gonna line up the four tabs into the four holes on the stator with this opening over the RPS sensor here. And we're just gonna rotate it counterclockwise until these two tabs lock into place and then we need to re 
position our wire harnesses and the clips over here. All right, now we can put the stator back on. Our bracket down here fell off, so I'm gonna put that back on. These tabs go up. And next we can put the rotor back on. Okay, now we can run the washer through a test cycle, make sure everything's working properly, and that nothing's leaking, and that will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.